If it's beef, then it's beef. I swear to God, I'm a creep to your Jeep with the heat and put your. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Little Man Reacts, and today I got a request to do J. Cole for Antonio. It's a lyrical video, never heard it before. Uh, shout out to Mikel and that donation. I really appreciate you, man. We're going to jump right into this thing. Before we do, like, comment, subscribe down below. You already know. Let's go, guys. Young Jermaine walked the straight and narrow. Minimum wage jobs for the narrow. But still my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds. So we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on the payroll. Shit, I wanna shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done out crew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons locked. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell them to stop. You all right, guys. Um. <clears throat> So far, I mean, it's okay. Um, this is like one of those dissecting songs. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's start here. Let's start there. The lyric, the penmanship is great, right? Um, for people that appreciate lyrics and penmanship, but um. <laughs> this isn't something like you would be like, all right, man, we're on our way to the club, pop in that J. Cole port. Port Antonio, we're about to get, you know, live on our way. This is about to get us pumped up. Now, nah, this makes me think too much. You know, if I wouldn't read the lyrics and I was listening to it, I'd be like, just because the, sil like the syllable raps, you know, I mean, it's just, all right, you know, I I don't know how to explain it. But it, I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that this is something that you listen to on your own. This is something like, like that wouldn't inspire me to get hyped. You know, this would inspire me to sit down and dissect everything that's going on. Let's jump back into it. Long friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He wanna ball till he fall until the federals knock. And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. You can't relate unless your father was not around. And your mother went out and found someone else and they brought him around. And they salaries didn't combine when they married and brought you out of that poverty. Then you moved to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood, you feel awkward about it now. Then your confidence start to drown, but the rapper gave you some positive thoughts, so you jot them down. You jot them down. Ride to it, 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 ride to it. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. 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 Yeah. 
uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows, reverse time To find deliveries good as mine, you gotta search primes I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch Trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme I learned long ago you can't please them all and it hurts trying In this game where all you've got is your name like Dirk I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine Absurd times, but a fake get told it is wise I can see hate in both of your eyes, but the third's blind So you search lines, but you struggle which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds i hate when raps become but like do not disturb signs cannot get it if i see it's about the dough they instigate the fuckery because it's profitable but singing stop the violence tunes with dudes in hospitals i pulled the plug because i seen where that was about to go they wanted blood they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow they see this fire j cole should have been a battle rapper you know like how battle rappers are so dope that like they have these haymakers that you're like, oh man, dude, I nobody could you know mess with that. But then when they do a song and you're like, <laughs> you know, like maybe you should stick to the battle rapping. J Cole just don't do it for me. I know I might catch flack for that, but J Cole, um, Let's say, like, if I'm in my Nas fill, like, my Nas bag, or, you know, like, a, a Q-tip, or something like that, you know, I would definitely, you know, get into J. Cole, but as far as, like, I mean, and that's not even hating, because everything he says is relatable things, you know what I mean? It's things that we've all been through, you know, and, um, but it's just so hard for me to get into, into J. Cole, like, like, I mean, even with the, what he came out and dissed, like Kendrick, then turned around and backed away from the situation. I mean, <sighs> well, that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle dog. I would have lost a bro. I would have gained a phone and all for what just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king if that. Wait a minute, was that? It's grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle dog. I would have lost a bro. I would have gained a phone and all for what just to attain. Was that about the, the Kendrick thing? I would have lost a. I wouldn't have lost a battle dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained a foe. But you're the one that brought it up. If this is about Kendrick, you're the one that brought it up. Or Drake, whoever you was dissing, you're the one that brought him up. And now you're going to backtrack and worry about losing a bro, losing, a, gaining a foe. I, I can't respect that. I can't respect that. I just, I just can't. You can't throw stones and then hide in the house. You know what I'm saying? It, it just. You can hate me for saying that, but I just can't respect that. I don't know if that's what this is about, but if that's what this is about, I don't respect that at all, because. You can't throw a cheap shot and then run. You know what I'm saying? You got you. Lost a battle dog, I would have lost the bro. I would have gained a phone and all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king, if that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest, the weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war, I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me. I wipe away my pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Uh, my dog texted me, I share the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess a gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why. J. Cole can rap. Nobody is out here saying that you can't rap, J. Cole. Nobody is saying that because we all know that you can't. You're just bowing out. That's what that's what happens. That's what happens. You you fucked up and you realize, hey, 
this ain't me. This ain't what I do. I, you know, this ain't me. And you bowed out. That's okay. I still fuck with the song. The song is still dope. And the music is still dope. Um, you know, you got an incredible pin, but you bowed out. At the end of the day, you threw a stone and you ran in the house. That's what it is. That's what it is. You can't backtrack on that and say, oh, my best bros and I appreciate. I mean, giving props is what you do. But you already, that's like, okay, that's like me and a friend go do something and then he get caught and he tell on me and I'm the one that takes the fall for it. Then, you know, and then he goes, you know, I wouldn't have done that. You you show me your true colors. I knew, I know who you are now. So there ain't never no going back from that. It might ease over. But that's who you are. That's what you did. That's who you are. You can't take that back. Let's go, guys. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing. It's for speaking our thoughts. Pushing ourselves. Reaching the charts. Reaching your minds. Deep in your hearts. Creeping up. Find emotions to touch. Something inside to open you up. Help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love because we ain't prime and shit. My nigga, y'all niggas ain't stopping me, yeah. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me, no, y'all niggas, niggas ain't stopping me. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me, y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me, y'all niggas ain't stopping me. All right, guys, Sh uh, there you have it. Shout out to Mikkel uh, on that donation, J. Cole. Poor Antonio uh, lyric version. It was a dope song. I really like the song. J. Cole has a dope flow, but as far as getting me hyped up, J. Cole don't do that. As far as um, just, a, just a hyped up, high energy feel. He has me more in the uh, feels of wanting to go and write a song now and try to test the pen and see what I can do. That's how I feel. Um, how I feel about the Drake, how I feel about all that issue right there. He wanted to smoke until they got the reply back and he didn't want to smoke. Now he wants to be friends. Like I say, man, you can't, you can't hit somebody in the jaw and then they hit back and you retreat and say, whoa, you, we was friends. We're still friends. Nah, because and then you can't come out and say, well, I'm, I'm, my lyrics are like a gun and I'm the gun. You can't say that. You can't. You dodge the smoke. You dodge the smoke. And now you just want to sweep it under the rug and be friends. But once you show your true colors, like to me, that's that, that's where I put you at. I don't put you as, all right, it ain't going to happen again because it will happen again. It will. But as far as J. Cole, <laughs> phenomenal with the pen, uh, phenomenal, you know, artist. It's just, he's not like, a lot of people I see do top 10s and they put J. Cole in their top 10. J. Cole wouldn't make my top 10. And that's just because I, my opinion is I, we're not talking about lyricists. We're just talking about artists in general. He just wouldn't make my top 10. But I do like J. Cole. I do appreciate his music. I do like the 90s feel of the bringing hip hop back. I really love that about him. But just some things like what I heard in this song just kind of, it's like rhetorical things sometimes. But anyways, guys, this song was solid. I really appreciate this. Shout out to Mikael on that donation. Thank you guys so much for watching down in the comments. Where are we going next, guys? Yeah. Marco. Marco. Uh-huh.